Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Millennial Minutes. I wanted to provide a deeper insight in some of the topics that I've been talking about on the podcast with my guests. And the one I wanna speak about today is why we should stop posting for clout. Now, a lot of you will be like, what does that even mean? And what I mean is, So many people recently have been posting just for the sake of posting because they wanna grow a big following. Now I'm gonna be really honest in this podcast and tell you about my journey. And I really wanna share with you what it actually means when you have all of these numbers and figures flying around. Now I started my podcast and I had around 2000 followers. I was posting every single week for season one, season two, and season three. I did take gaps in between, and that was the mistake I made because I wasn't able to scale and grow my podcast as quickly. However, I was still posting the podcast. I did do three seasons in the space of about a year and a half. It wasn't like I took gigantic gaps, and I was posting quite a lot. Now, it took me two years to grow from 2,000 followers to 10,000 followers. It took me six weeks to grow from 10,000 followers to 15,000 followers. It then took me three weeks to go from 15,000 followers to 18,000 followers. And it took me a week and a half to go from 18,000 followers to 50,000 followers. Now I know these milestones because all my friends kept messaging me them. And for a lot of people who have just started following me, it looks like I've had an overnight success. It looks like I've just posted a viral video and it's gone viral. Now that's not the truth behind viral videos. Now my video has got around 4.2 million views at the moment on Instagram, around 2 million videos on TikTok but I do not care about the viral moments. I care about providing value. And all I cared about in this situation was now finally people are looking at my other videos where I shared so much great content with such amazing people and people are now recognizing and seeing that. For so long, I was surrounded by people who had a massive Instagram following. When I first had Instagram, I was at uni and I was working at Hollister when I was in Warwick, um, in Sully Hall actually. And then I was working in Gilly Hicks when I was in London. Now the kinds of girls that I was working with were all models, like full-time models, and they were, had loads more Instagram followers than me. And when I was younger, I used to think, oh my God, I wish I had more Instagram followers, right? Because you get invited to cool places and you get loads of things. And I just thought that's all it is. But there is so much more than just all those things. Then when I started modeling full time throughout summer, again, I was surrounded by models who had a much bigger Instagram following than me. And I felt that they were getting all these amazing campaigns and jobs because of their Instagram following, which is absolutely not true. And then when I transitioned into the podcasting world, naturally I was comparing myself to some of the best podcasters. And I was thinking, I'm providing really great content. Why am I not growing? And for so long, I validated myself based on my followers. And it was actually only very recently when I met Stephen Bartler and he didn't look at my followers before he said yes to being on the podcast. It was very recently when Steph Fit, who had 1.6 million followers at the time, and I had 6,000 followers at the time, said yes to me, that I realized it's not about the followers, it's about you. It really, really does not matter. Now that I have more followers, yes, I'm able to work with companies more closely and earn money through that way, but it really, really does not define your success. I am not more successful now that I have loads of followers and I'm not killing it because I have loads of followers. In fact, there is so much more that I need to do and the followers do not determine that. I am so grateful for everyone sharing and commenting and messaging and being part of this journey with me, but I really wanna tell younger creatives and I really wanna tell people with a smaller following, if you have a purpose, just stick to it and everything else will fall into place. I don't care about how many followers I have. I care how many people I'm impacting. And for me, that has significantly gone up and that's what I really, really value. I think so many of us, and for me myself, validated myself on that vanity metric. And truly, it really means nothing if you think about it. It really doesn't make you cooler. It really doesn't make you more popular. It really doesn't make you get more of what you want. And in my example, I was getting all of these amazing guests before I had a big following because a lot of people take two, three months. So all the guests you're seeing on my podcast now have not been because of my following that's increased in the last couple of weeks. They've been from before. And by having really impactful, powerful, meaningful conversations, people want to now come on the podcast. Of course, it helps in terms of credibility when I'm reaching out to really big people. But even then, I have 50,000 followers or 55, whatever it is right now. It's not groundbreaking, you know? It's nothing that's like I've got millions. And so I can get Kim Kardashian on the podcast tomorrow. She'd be a really good person to interview. Before anyone bashes me about the Kardashians, trust me, she'd be a good one. But I mean, I'm not gonna get the likes of Adele and Anne-Marie, you know? Again, two people I would love to interview for my podcast because of how they write meaningful songs. But the purpose of this video was to talk about why we should stop posting for clout. 
as I said before, when I was modeling, I used to upload loads of pictures of myself modeling and here and there and everywhere. And I used to feel that that would increase my following and that would actually make me feel validated and I could work with all these amazing brands. But it wasn't me, it wasn't my purpose and it wasn't something that I enjoyed. I still do like modeling here and there, but I couldn't do it as a full-time career because it doesn't make me feel happy every single day. When I do the podcast every single day, it makes me feel incredibly happy even though I'm overworked and tired from it, but I feel unbelievably happy doing it and I feel like it's really my true calling. Whilst with modeling, I can do a shoot here and there. In fact, I'm going to do one tomorrow and I can enjoy it in that moment, but it's not something I can do consistently. And that's the same for posting. I see so many people posting irrelevant things, in my opinion, just because it's a trend or just because it's something that's popular at the moment. And I really think that the audience can see through that authenticity because you are growing purely for the reason to grow, not for the reason to help people with your purpose, not for the reason to share your message, not for the reason to actually do something that's gonna help other people. A lot of people are doing things just for the likes. And I think it's really, really important to really figure out what are you good at? What's your purpose? What do you wanna share with the world? We all have our own strengths. We all have things that we can share, we can talk about, we can learn from, we can help other people with. And that's what we should really be focusing about when we're sharing things on social media. It really doesn't matter about the likes. It really doesn't matter about your followers. If you wanna share something that's really meaningful and powerful to you and you think it's gonna help someone and you get two likes on it, who cares? You've done it with good intent, right? It's better to do that than post something that you know is gonna get 500 likes and actually you're not really that into it and you feel guilty and you feel bad and you feel burnt out because you're not able to keep doing things in that space where you're doing things to please other people. And this comes back to, you know, ingrained in us, we wanna do things to please other people. A lot of us are people pleasers. A lot of us have grown up in environments where we've had to think about what other people think of us. And ultimately, we can't keep thinking about what other people think about us. We have to think about what we think about ourselves. And when you think positively about yourself, when you feel like you have something that you're really passionate about that you wanna share with the world, it will come through and you will be able to share it and you will be able to get the attraction that you want because I really believe when you're authentic, when you're genuine and you have things that are coming from your heart, you everything will fall into place. So whether that's you wanna start a blog, you wanna start a website, you wanna start a company, if you have your core values at the heart of it and you keep pushing through, everything will fall into place. In this book, Atomic Habits, James Clear talks about this analogy of an ice cube. And he says that when an ice cube is in a room that's 23 degrees, the ice cube is still there. It goes up 24, 25, 26, the ice cube is still there. It goes up to 27, 28, ice cube is still there. Then when the room reaches 29 degrees, the ice cube melts. And when the ice cube melts, you think, why has it melted? Because the last degree was only one degree, like more. And every single time before that, it's only been one degree more. So if you take that into actions, the last action you do may seem no different than the previous actions you've done. But it's all of these small actions that have led to this big change or this groundbreaking moment. And so many of us give up when we're doing those small little steps and we try and divert onto something that we think other people are gonna love or other people are gonna enjoy more. It's so important to have a clear purpose, to have a clear value and to keep taking those small steps. You never know when it's gonna be your groundbreaking moment and it will happen. If you keep diverting and going into different lanes and doing things what other people love and trying to do TikToks and lip syncing and all these things which are not aligned with you, it won't work because people are gonna be confused about what you're talking about and people are gonna see through that inauthenticity. So it's really important to always remain authentic. It's really important to keep going and it's really, really important not to post things just because you think other people are gonna like them. If you're posting on social media and you have a clear purpose, it will shine through and you will make it. You just have to be consistent. That's my little message for today. I hope you all liked it. I appreciate you guys watching this so much. If you liked it, please give it a like and comment below and I will see you all soon.